good afternoon, or perhaps I should even say good evening. Whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world right now, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining me for today's YouTube update. Got a gorgeous view behind me. Been spending some time up in Nooseville, one of Australia's premier holiday destinations here on the Sunshine Coast of Queensland. Now, I'd like to be able to say that I've been coming up and just doing the boating and enjoying all the good things, but I've been up here for work. Working with a business owner who's just kicking off a brand new launch of their website. And we thought it would be a really good idea while I was here to come up with a checklist of things that you should be going through just before you launch that brand new website to get all of those customers to come right towards you. So have you got your pen and paper handy? Let's get started. First things first, it's always a good idea to look at your home page and check out your SEO, your on-page search engine optimization. Now by this I'm talking about a good title and a good description. Now if you're using some kind of content management system, it's very likely that it will create its own titles and own descriptions and you'll need a plugin of sorts to be able to adjust and modify these. I'm going to suggest that you spend quite a bit of time targeting your primary keyword phrase and a secondary keyword phrase just for your home page. And, and this can take some time, but it's vitally important that you do get it right. Looking at those options then with your meta title and your meta description, then I want you to go through that home page and make sure that what you're talking about is written right there on the page to make it easy for the customer to be able to, I guess, find and get access to what they're looking for. Now this is much more than just taking a wild glance, a quick look around. This is making sure that the keywords you want to be found under are on your home page, not only as one, two, three, but also as other keyword phrases related to your search topic. That's what's called the semantic indexing, if you know what I mean. More topics, more words, not just your primary keyword phrase. So that needs to be all around the home page. Next, on top of that, I want you to look at your primary conversion pages. There are two types of primary conversion pages. They are number one, those pages which the content of your home page link to. Where are your visitors most likely to go after they've looked at what's on your home page? The other conversion pages are those that are there to specifically achieve a given goal. Contact, subscribe, download, buy, share, whatever it might be. So I want you to look at your home page and make sure that the links that go deeper into your site lead to a conversion page. And that page has a call to action. So what is the primary goal for your website? Is it to sell a product? Is it, in this case, with whom I was talking with today, to have them pick up the phone and call you or contact you? Whatever is that goal, it must be written on every single one of those pages. That is vitally important to converting your customers from the search engines to customers, turning browsers into buyers. That's what I'm talking about. Some other things that you should also be looking at as well is your blog. When you're about to kick off a brand new website, good to have two, three, even half a dozen blog posts there. And just quickly from an SEO point of view, make sure that the content on your site, especially your blog posts, redirects people back to your conversion pages. These are the pages that everyone needs to get to. They're the pages you've written so that you convert your buyers into browsers, your browsers into buyers. You know what I'm talking about. They have to be there. At the same time, webmaster tools and analytics. You need to make sure that you are registered and verified with webmaster tools, that you have submitted an XML sitemap as soon as your site goes live, and it is received by Google, do a crawl in Webmaster Tools to make sure it can read your content. Then of course, set up your analytics and integrate the two. This is very important to understand whether people are arriving on your site and getting to your conversion pages, and if they are, are they converting or are they going somewhere else? You need to know these numbers 
along the way. They are the primary, most important things. I guess secondary from there, just quickly, social media and making your site shareable. It's those little links. Click the link, someone gets to share. Click the link, someone tweets it. Someone adds it onto Facebook. Someone puts it on Google+. All of these things are important. They don't have to be there immediately when you go live with your site, but they should be in there within the first couple of days. And on that, just quickly, I believe that you should have a Facebook account and a business page through Facebook, that you should be on LinkedIn, that you should be on Google+, that you should have a quick Twitter account. Now, will this benefit your business? I don't know. You need to ask the question, where are your customers? That's what we need to know. Where are your customers? Go and be there. So if, you're on, if they're on Twitter, then be on Twitter. If they're on Google+, then be on Google+. Create an account for Google authorship and get yourself found in the search engines. It's an ongoing process. It's not an overnight thing. I've had content appear front page of Google in as little as 45 minutes. I had other content never appear. You've just got to do your best each and every time and get as much ready as you can before you launch. But, final thought, don't wait for it to be ready. Don't wait for it to be perfect. It never will be. Get in there, get out, and make it happen. If you have a great afternoon, I'm going to head off and have some lunch. Beautiful. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.